Hello, this is Nick Lego Stava going to be doing a Lego review, which I have not done one in a very long time. Well, I've been doing them, but I haven't been putting them up on YouTube, and I just deleted them all, and I don't know, I, I might review some of them. But I do have a Lego Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 set for you today, and it is number 76006, and it's Iron Man... Extremis C Port Battle. It's 195 pieces, cost like 20 bucks, somewhere in that area. And it has one manual and a comic. So you get three minifigures in this set. I'll start out with War Machine. And War Machine. This is going to focus in, which it's not. Okay. Here is, here he is, I had to focus it in, stop the video of course, which is going to take like 500 hours to upload to YouTube because I did that. There's his other face, he does have a double sided head, and you click that back down, there's his costume, it looks good. He does have the gun off the back, it's a little weird, look at it, it's just a liver state piece, it's really easy. He does have front torso printing and leg printing and back printing and all that stuff and he it's red the stuff that makes him fly around and go woo and then here is Tony Stark and uh he's pretty interesting and uh okay well my camera just uh lost some memory because I forgot to delete the other video that was on here is the slender video for my other channel my video gaming channel which uh... It's, I have a link on my channel it's my second channel it's called boom Bepic. and uh... yeah it's cool so back to what i was doing yes this is a new iron man suit i like the gold on it it looks really cool i like the gold hands and they did a really really good job on this iron man and uh there's the back of his face. He's like, Oh crap and this face is like, Yeah, man. That's that. It clicks down. It's the same helmet. I think they uh brightened the gold up though, I think. I, I don't know. It might be my imagination. But I really think they did. It's a different gold color to me, I don't know. But he does have the blue fly stuff. And then here's your third figure, his name is Akramanga blah 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 killer. He kind of looks like a weird Star Wars guy when he has his evil face on. He does have a glow in the dark feature on his face, which is weird because he looks as pale as a ghost. I don't know if he is supposed to be, but I do like his jacket. That'll be good for some random city guy in stop motion. And then here's this little poop thing here. It's supposed to be something in the water and it can explode either way. And those little red things don't usually fly off, which they didn't. Here's the boat itself right here. And it's rattling around. There's a TNT in the front. There we go. It's the same TNT that was in many sets. But here is this. It has stickers on both sides in the back. I really like the flick fires. And in the back here, you just click on them. You could click on both at different times, they're cool. And uh, he has a little space for his gun, another sticker, which is like controls there. And uh, it's pretty cool, speed looking boat. He can sit in there, of course. Here's the manual. Not that exciting. And let's see. It's 59 pages of building. And uh, no mistakes as far as I can see in there. Here's the comic. I'm not really going to go through it. But the missiles kind of gives away some of the movie, which the movie's not even out yet. Lego does that all the time and makes a billion sets before the movie even comes out. But I do like it. I, I don't know. Here's the box real quick. It's just a box. You see that in the background. It always shows all the stuff on there with them flying around. But that is all. And, uh... This is a great set. I would definitely recommend it. So, bye. Rate, comment, subscribe.